between the 28th of January and the 1st of February 2009, the Belladonna Film Trust, a Christchurch-based film education trust, staged a community course in film production. As well as the practical and theoretical learning to be taught on this course, an observational method was also employed. During the latter four days of the course, the students had access to an operating film set, enabling them to watch a group of professionals and volunteers at work on a real short film. This experience provided them with a unique insight into the film production process. The course was attended by 45 students, ranging in age from 7 to 40, the majority being under 17. The students were placed in three groups, 7 to 13, 13 to 17, and adult students, with different course programs for each group. The adult students assisted the film crew directly, while the younger students attended classes and created some of their own video work. The part I enjoyed most about the course was working with the crew because that gave me a really good idea of um, what happens on a set and the procedures and how everyone interacts with each other. The crew was comprised of 25 members, including professionals and a great number of volunteers, many of whom had professional or enthusiast experience to offer. The course was led by Aidan Shilato from Christchurch and Clinton Spencer from Tauranga. They acted as producers for the film, which Aidan wrote and directed, and on which Clinton worked as first assistant director. Several staff were engaged as tutors while also serving as crew. Aidan handed control of the teaching section of the course over to Neil McNichol and Michael Sunderland, assisted by Sam Harris. On the film shoot, invaluable help was provided by Bruno Martins, Matthias Theus and Adriana Ember, Charmaine Hart, Bruno Peters and Douglas Royds. The courses were by no means prescriptive. Some students already familiar with the production process showed initiative in their desire to be on the set rather than in the classroom. Our course made allowances for this and we benefited from their help. In particular, Dean, Laura and Jonathan made significant contributions over and above course time as production assistants. Our crew consisted of two DPs, documentary veteran Graham Ritchie and visiting European cameraman Crouchy Spar. Unitech students Paul Abbott and Gabe Mueller completed the crew. You sort of you'll set up for a shot, and um, the sound recorders will stand back for, for camera and lighting to finish their job. And then uh, you see a little spot where you can put your boom operator, which is just a person help holding a uh, microphone and a long uh, fishbowl. And uh, you that everything works out, and just before you go for a take. Uh, lighting will say, well, well, let's just put a light in there and then before you know it, just what is gone and you have to reposition and then you're, you're holding back the whole process of uh, shooting and then everybody gets mad at you. But actually all you're, you're doing is you're respecting the other people, so you, you sort of expect the same thing to happen to you. But it's uh, one of those things and uh, we live with it. We have uh, perks in the job, which I can't explain, but um, yeah, it's, it's good fun, it's great fun. As writer for the project, Aidan created a script which took advantage of many of the assets that the project would have available to it and shaped the story to this end. The story was extracted from a project of Aidan's from 1990, a sci-fi fan video called The Tunnel Through Time. Many of the elements that served that project well were adapted, revised and updated for the new course project entitled Detention. The new story focused on a schoolboy, Nick Attlee, who becomes suspicious of the caretaker at his school. His investigations concern his parents and teachers, but ultimately reveal to the boy another world beneath the one he knows, leaving him a changed person with a unique perspective on life. Casting was performed in December 2008. Actors Nick Jeffrey, Matt Hudson, Brian Sullivan, Kirsty Tate and Torum Heng formed the main cast.
He he's afraid of the the school's caretaker, who isn't actually a caretaker in the school's principal, who isn't actually a principal. All depends in short films or filming generally. Your look is more important almost than your skill. You know, you've, the director will look at you know your characteristics. I'm playing the role of Mangles. He's the evil guy. Obviously, you know, loves him to bits and likes the fact that he's very imaginative and very creative and she really likes to get that come out of him. Um, and she obviously gets quite concerned when she notices his drawings are changing and um, his behaviour is changing a little bit. It's out of character for her son. I think it's a really cool script. I, when I first read it, I was kind of blown away stuff in it is going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing the finished product. Being set in a school, the film required a large number of extras to play school children, many of whom were eventually drawn from the junior programme of the course. The filming commenced at St Albans Primary School on the second day of the course and concluded on the 1st of February. Day one and two used a custom set on a basic soundstage in the school hall. Okay, make up to you. Okay, go for a take. Action. I like watching that one. Action. The weekend shoot focused on location filming, both outdoors and indoors, at the school location. Throughout the entire shoot, the hall served as a base of operations for the film crew. Availability dictated that Graham Ritchie would serve as DP on day one and two, with his second day C on these first two days, Grouchy Spa taking over on the weekend shoot for days three and four. Many of the volunteer crew worked from 6am to midnight and longer in order to enable the project's film component to be achieved. The Belladonna Film Trust feels that these efforts were highly worthwhile. We achieved the dual purpose of the January Summer Production Course Project to provide an educational opportunity for young people in our region and to produce for the Film Trust a short film that united volunteers and professionals in the working environment. Primary post-production was completed in January 2010 with music by Failsafe Records' Rob Mays and special effects by several contributors completed on May 15, 2010. The Film Trust wishes to thank all those involved in this ambitious project, including our sponsors, Pubs Charity Incorporated, the Perry Foundation, Creative Communities and the Mainland Foundation. We hope you will enjoy our film. I kind of like Batman the most because he has, he has none superpowers and, he's, and without superpowers he's still quite a good person. Mm-hmm.